Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Switz 001 video. Now guess where we are flying today? Yes, we are in the middle of Tokyo and oh, there's someone else actually flying here. Yeah, we're in multiplayer right now. As you might have already heard, Microsoft just released a new update yesterday where they feature especially the Japan as a country, uh, which is why there are so many people flying around here. As you can see, we have another cub plane just flying around uh, the city of Tokyo, obviously, just like we are. And uh, really, this region right now is very, very much overcrowded. I don't even want to look at the airport, right? Because uh, that is going to be very, very much of a chaos. No, I actually wanted to head somewhere else, and that is just straight ahead. And then we have an interesting mountain, or perhaps old volcano, and that is Mount Fuji. I can imagine that there's a lot of players there, too. Let's just go there. Uh, let's just use the cheats. We're right now flying at 7,500 knots, which is faster than any airplane has ever gone actually which is just a fun fact and we're getting closer and closer to mount fuji god damn it all right the flight simulator has actually crashed now that is uh, very ironic isn't it let's go back seven hours later all right god damn it this took a very very long time but i think the wait has been worth it yes we are now a little bit closer to mount fuji as you can see this is a little bit outside of tokyo this is not that much of a crowded place i think we actually are flying above a golf course right now now, that's interesting as well. But let's go ahead and uh, fly to Mount Fuji and more importantly, land at Mount Fuji. For that, we're gonna have to cheat ourselves onto a way high altitude. There we go. All right, actually here we've got two other plays uh, flying at the mountain, probably trying to land on the mountain, which is definitely what we're about to do, actually. Actually, this is very interesting. There are uh, quite a lot of uh, things here. You know, a, lot, a few buildings, that's interesting. You know, especially considering this very, very high altitude, we're flying at 10,000 feet, which the the airplane is definitely not that much of a fan off. <laughs> it's definitely managing to actually get up the mountain, but you know, we have cheats, so no worries about that. Oh, this plane doesn't like this at all. I think this one's maximum flying altitude should be around 10,000 feet. We're of, of course above that. So we're gonna have to come in for a landing right now. But first for this video, let's actually go ahead and, um, you know, set up more of something like a landing spot. Uh, maybe not in the volcano, but maybe on the rim or something or somewhere. I don't know. Meanwhile, we've got some more players here even in a king air jesus christ this maneuver is not very safe oh okay this looks like an interesting spot for a landing right uh, this is really an impressive volcano it looks very beautiful you know as someone who's only been to you know alpine mountains or you know normal mountains that are not volcanoes in general this looks very interesting indeed because that seems like the flattest area of the volcano jesus christ okay let's go i'm looking good here let's not crash okay nice not so nice, apparently. I mean, okay, this is actually really a nice spot. This could be somewhat of a runway, right? There we go. I think we have definitely established Fuji Airport now. How about that? And planes stop working. That's not good. There we go. Now it's running again. Oh, no, no. We're falling down the crater. That's not good. I didn't really intend to do that. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was a 747 that's just flown into the crater. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. All right, we have definitely broken the plane now by just uh, falling down that crater. That's not good, but at least we've, you know, managed to establish a landing spot, so that's a process. Meanwhile, let's check how the 747 is doing. Yeah, it's gone. It's definitely crashed now. Yeah, damn, the traffic here is definitely wild. We can always hear some kind of aircraft. That is very nice. Let's maybe choose even a more extreme cub plane. How about something like, I don't know, um, the Shock Ultra? for example, because that one is actually a little bit more powerful. This one will actually get the job done because, you know, we don't want to crash all the time. So let's go ahead. All right, Shock Ultra. Let's, uh, let's get ready for this landing. All right, there we go. We're looking good. That was a really nice one. And we actually have not damaged the aircraft. That was really good. See, Mount Fuji Airport is totally usable as an airfield. Let's maybe try it taking off again. Shouldn't be that much of an issue either, I guess. You know, the plane here is pretty powerful and we can also fall off that cliff intentionally. So we can fly down here. There we go, that was nice. And we have now established flight again. That was perfect. Let's go for a bigger plane. <laughs> All right, let's go for a turbo prop. Let's maybe try, um, <laughs> Cessna Grand Caravan, for example. A plane also used all around the world on the most dangerous airports. Let's see if we can fly at Fuji Airport. Oh, some more planes, some more traffic here. I mean, really, that's what Microsoft Flight Simulator was basically meant for, you know. Just messing around here in the sim. Oh. I mean... 
We've stopped. There we go. That was quite nice. Oh, there's someone trying to land a jet here. Oh, that didn't work out, did it? All right. Now we have to obviously take off as well. Uh, let's just use that cliff thing again. And where do we just fall down the cliff here? That'll give us enough airspeed for lift. Oh. Well, this plan didn't work out that well, did it? All right, I think we're actually now stuck in the crater, aren't we? Maybe we can taxi back up or or not. Okay, uh, <clears throat> not that much of a successful flight today, was it? I guess these planes here, they're a little bit too, you know, fast for uh, Mount Fuji Airport. This was really only meant for the stallest of stall planes that can fly at like 20 knots or something like the Cubs. Oh... Oh no, we crashed into the buildings. That was not good. Yeah, this really isn't a, a large airport that we have built here. Let's try this again here. There we go. Oh, a little bit of a bump. There we go. And now a final landing. I think that was a little bit of a more perfect example. Let's maybe uh, try taking off from the opposite side. That's meaning that we'll run down the mountain. It's actually not that easy. Ah, yeah, the plane is not making it up the mountain. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> All right, I think we have established flight, but we cannot make it out of the crater, can we? All right, uh, I think we have to actually find another solution for uh, the runway, especially for the bigger planes that we're going to use now. Let's maybe try something like a jet. How about a Cessna Citation CJ4? All right, let's do this. All right, what's up, Mount Fuji? Yeah, let's see if uh, we can get some, you know, more people on this mountain at the same time, with the help of a jet, of course. There we go. All right, we're going full power already. The planes are actually struggling up here. Like, they generally all have struggled so far to uh, maintain good speed while getting up this mountain. I mean, after all, this is at 12,000 feet of elevation. This is not low. Oh, 747-8. Oh, he's, he's dead. He's crushed. All right. <laughs> all right, now the landing. Let's do this as smoothly as possible. Oh, yeah. Now I see. Yeah, the Cessna Citation isn't... It wasn't made for bush flying, was it? This was not a very smooth landing. We didn't even make it to the top of the mountain. Uh, tourists will have to walk a little bit. Let's try this one again. We're uh, actually at a higher speed, which I like a little bit more, to be quite honest with you. All right, that was a, a landing, apparently. And now we can actually, you know, take off again just by rolling down this mountain. Let's see a plane like the PC-24 that's actually certified to operate on snow as well would probably be a little bit of a more suitable plane here. But, I mean, you know, this was a successful takeoff. No worries at all. Let's go for a 747-8. You know, let's join the club of other players in the 747. All right, let's do this. All right, this plane has got a little bit more power. I mean, it's got four engines. Um, so let's do this. All right, let's maybe land on the more, uh, I guess, shallow side of Mount Fuji. The side, you know, where it's not as steep. There we go. We're coming in. We're coming in hot. So let's do this. All right, that was a landing without landing gear because that apparently works a little bit better, especially here in the snow. No worries at all. Now, the only problem is that we cannot take off again, but that's a whole nother story, isn't it? The Japan update of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is pretty nice, isn't it? And, uh, you know, I'll see you tomorrow in another Swiss 01 video. As always, good night.